Hi everybody, Jessica Sanders here. I'm just going to paint on this paper today and I'm just going to do a time lapse video and see how it turns out. Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> well, I could do both. I think I'll do both. So you can see that I have um, painting underneath. <laughs> and I wasn't very happy with the way it turned out. But that's okay because what it happens is it just adds a lot of depth. So much depth when you um, have an underpainting. Oh, look at this color. It's amazing. So right now, all I'm doing is I have some gesso, and I have some different colors of paint. I have Prussian blue, I have turquoise, yes, turquoise green, and I have some magenta, and I'm just working it into this paper. This is gesso paper, and it's actually gessoed and then painted, as you can see. Um, and I'm just playing around with the color, just to see how it turns out. I don't know yet how it's going to turn out. And I'm just using this is a spatula I have actually that is from cake decorating. And it's great for this. So I'm gonna add some more Prussian blue. I love, love, love Prussian blue. It's one of my favorites. My family's been telling me that I use too much blue. I paint too much with the blue, but you know that's it's my color palette. It's what I love. So it's what I'm going to use. And you know, I I don't know. I paint with other colors sometimes, but this is my go-to color palette. Blues, greens. Wow, I'm loving the depth of this color. And I am just kind of pressing kind of hard with this spatula and blending it all together on the page, blending the paint on the paper. I'm going to add some more gesso on here. I don't yet know where this painting is going. I'm just playing around with it and I just want to see what's going to happen. Oh look, I have some of that magenta mixed in with that blue. It's looking nice. I'm going to pick up some more of the turquoise. Mix that in. And uh, now I'm going to mix in more magenta. It's going to probably turn purple because it's that blue and green mixed in there. Because the Prussian blue is a really strong color, you don't have to really worry about that turquoise making that magenta turn brown or anything like that. More Prussian blue. I want it to be darker over here. I'm going to turn this page into um, just more blending here. And then I'm going to pick up more magenta. I really want to add some more of that magenta. Just add it straight to my paper. It's looking nice. I 
I had blue, the blue on this palette knife, so that's one where it's turning so purple. I want to lighten up that purple just a little bit with that. And add some more gesso. I'm using gesso instead of titanium white. I want the texture of the gesso to be mixed in with the paint. It just has a slightly different texture. And I like that. So. Turn it around, add some more magenta, just want to put this paint in different areas just to tie this painting all together. Never really put color in one area, it just doesn't work. You want a cohesive painting and you put the color in different places, it just pulls it all together. I'm liking the way this looks here. It's pick, starting to pick up the texture of the the texture of the gesso that's underneath. I'm gonna clean my spatula and Move this out a little bit. And I'm getting more magenta. I'm liking this magenta. I like the way it pops. Put it on my spatula this time. I'm going to put most of it over here. I want to put a little bit more over here. Head, you can see it starting to pick up the texture on the paper. Really nice. Let me sell some more. And adding more magenta. <laughs> kind of struggling to find a place to hold it right now. I really work this in over here. I'm just lightly uh, going over just to add and pick up that texture. Kind of a, when I'm uh, blending it together, I'm pushing kind of hard. But when I was just picking up the texture, I'm just doing it really lightly. Okay, now this is this is looking. Loving the depth of color on here and everything, but it is quite dark, and so I'm gonna add some white and some turquoise and some Prussian blue. Notice I put very little of the blue and the turquoise, I put mostly actually that was just so not white paint. 
Now when I get over to the wet magenta, it's going to pick that up a little bit. Which is perfectly okay with me. I'm expecting that. Let's see, there it goes. Picks that magenta up. And I'm just trying to add depth and lighten that part of this piece. And um, it needs some more. Just so mixed in. Um, so I notice as I'm doing this, I'm noticing that um, this area is very dull, very untextured, very plain, and has really no depth to it whatsoever. It's just not nice. So I'm going to pick up some more gesso and just kind of gently work some in. I don't want it to remain white, so I'm letting it pick up the other colors. But I'm doing it rather gently. And now I'm going to add in some Prussian blue because I feel like it just lost all of its character there. Is. I'm going to switch to this one. Do a little blending with that. Cleaning that off as I go. Cleaning these with a baby wipe as I go. Um, okay, so now I'm going to move on to something different and just change it up a little bit. I want to um, do some stenciling on here. I have this a lot of circles. You can see I don't clean my stencils very much. And I'm going to use the Prussian blue to start. And let me do some other colors, but that's what I'm going to start with. And my spatula knife. I'm just going to choose a spot that I like. I like um, I like this area right here. And I don't want this to be perfect down here. I want it to be kind of sketchy and spotty. And so I do like to have it wider at the edge of the paper than down toward the bottom, if that makes any sense at all. Now because I'm using this spatula knife um, and not a sponge or pouncing, you get these little interesting little half circles. That's pretty darn cool if you ask me. All right, I'm going to flip this around. See where else I want to put some. Just this needs, definitely needs something. So I'm going to do this. Just like that. And I have some turquoise. I'm going to pick up the turquoise. And it's really cool actually to um, stencil with multiple colors that aren't completely blended. You get a really cool effect. So, highly, highly recommend that. So much fun. Let me pick that up again. Very cool. Okay. 
I feel like I don't have enough dark um, up in this area. So I'm going to get my Prussian blue again. I'll pin that on my palette. <laughs> And I don't want to go over that stenciling right now. Um, but I do want to add some of this dark. So let's just see what happens if I do this. Use my palette knife to just touch over a little bit. Okay. Let me just do the same thing over here. Actually, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. Totally not. But I am going to do it here. Just a little. And I'm going to do it here. Now it's kind of hard to see what I've got because I have this paper that I'm working on. So I'm going to set this down just to take a look at it. Looking very nice. And look, I have another piece of paper. <laughs> That's looking very nice. It's sort of glacial and fun. Um, Okay, so what I'm going to do now is go around the edges with this Prussian blue. Get my paper, my protect my surface, sort of protect my surface. And I'm going to go around the edges just from the darkness. Don't want it to be completely solid. I just want to touch it up a little, and blend it out. I have a lot of wet paint here from the stencil. I'm going to skip that area for now. I can come back and do it later. This is more dry. I think I'll do two versions of this video. I will do the um, speed painting time lapse version, and I will do the tacking version. And just so you know, I'm open to any questions you may have. I do not mind helping anyone out. If you want to know how I did something or why, I'll be happy to share it with you. So that's kind of cool. Okay, I wonder what's going on here. It's a lot of depth, a lot of depth. Loving it so far. Just gonna take a look at it for a minute. It's wet, wet. I still want to go back with the stencil and the Prussian blue and look at my hands are really dirty. Okay. I'm gonna go back with the stencil and the Prussian blue. If I can find the Prussian blue. There it is. I just want to be careful not to mess that up. So for sure, I'm not going to do that yet. I'm just going to hold it out a little. I love circles. Love, love, love. Okay.
a little more control with spatula. I really love the depth of this. Um, so I feel like I kind of have two options. I feel like I can accept this as an abstract work of art, or I could use it as a background, and I really haven't decided yet. I really like it. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to add one more thing and then I'm calling it finished. I'm adding this India ink and I'm going to just go and like this, like that. Is that connected? Trip some drops just over here. A few little drops over there. Okay, and then I also think it needs some white drops. Which I will put more toward the middle. This is just to kick it up a bit. A tiny bit of white drops over here. I'm doing this really lightly so that so that um, it doesn't overpower. And um, yeah, we have a beautiful, abstract, starry night. Yes, I am finished. Done. Okay, thank you for watching. Hope you can see details. the finished piece. Okay, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.